guys the number one strategy given is a platform that allows the revelation of the Christ to be seen within a territory please say prayer Luke chapter 18 and verse 1 Jesus is still having his mentorship session he's teaching the believers who would later be apostles of the Lamb and now his discourse moves to the subject of prayer and he's about to teach us something very interesting are we together the Bible says in Luke chapter 18 and verse 1 that he spake this parable to the end that men to the end that men ought always to pray so prayer is not for prayer warriors prayer is not for men of God prayer is for men you are exempted from prayer if you are not a man but provided you are a man carrying this material body you are mandated to pray so the intent of the parable is that men will always pray and not paint are we ready scene one verse two please now he's jesus is about to teach us a lesson please let's hurry up there was in a city a judge everybody say a judge and the bible describes this judge may you never be in a court where you have this kind of judge in jesus name that a judge that does not fear god nor regard man you can't bribe him you can't say you are my relative and the spirit of god can almost not speak to him because he doesn't have regard for god so this is the judge we have to deal with sin 2 verse 3 the bible now tells us that there was a widow who is a widow one whose system of defense from this scripture has been taken away a woman who is vulnerable her cover has been taken from her now he's teaching on prayer he wants to show us the power of prayer in revealing the christ within a territory and so he's contrasting a man who does not fear god and a frail widow and the widow the bible says continue to go to the judge and say avenge me my adversary next verse says for a while that means there is a time component to prayer for a while that unjust judge would not pay attention to her but then he said within himself though i do not fear god nor regard man next verse he said that um where are we please go back to verse five because this woman troubled me other versions say because of her importunity her persistence her fortitude to remain she altered the judgment of a man god could not advise him men could not advise him but prayer still changed his will this is the power of prayer here he's teaching us how to pray that means a territory that cannot pray cannot see god there are possibilities that cannot be revealed within a territory corporately when men do not pray he speak a parable encouraging a people that in their quest to see christ revealed men will ought always to pray a family that does not pray will not see the revelation of the christ a businessman that does not pray will keep seeing possibilities that will never become his experience because the technology of manifestation is that everything is first really in the realm of the spirit and then it is transported through prayer the realm of the spirit is a compendium of possibilities with no date attached to them it takes prayer to attach time and create their manifestation so men can pray samaria was under siege until a prophet came and with one decree by this time tomorrow he was not revealing what would have happened anyway he made it happen through the power of decrees are we together now Spirit of prayer men and women you do not know how cheap life can be until you master the art of praying with understanding not crash prayer that is born out of selfishness not prayer that is full of wise sayings oh god is this how my life will be that's not prayer are we together now the bible says in james chapter 5 
apostle james is teaching us something on prayer and then he starts from verse 13 he says is any man afflicted so he's talking about affliction he says if that man is afflicted let him pray not let him discuss with neighbors and relatives that will not have the power to solve his problem it's amazing that god is the last person we consult we tell people things about our lives that have no power to help us they end up multiplying the pain when we are fully disappointed then we move to god as a last resort and say god are you there Then, but always to pray just are we together you must pray prayer is not for men of god prayer is for men prayer is for men we must pray you know sometimes believers forget that this is africa we have to be honest to admit it let me tell you the truth the the operation of witchcraft and the operation of powers that be is something that will be joking if we try to ignore it takes prayer to dislodge the powers of the enemy it takes prayer to select and insist that your portion be manifested there is nothing that is made anywhere for you by default is prayer that insists on your allocation please understand this the Bible tells us please go to verse 16 still teaching on prayer confess your faults to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed then it says the effectual now he's telling you the kind of prayer that works the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much are we together now and then verse 17 now personifies an entity now it's amazing how scripture works every time god is communicating a thought he usually in a thought 